on a shipwreck like this one, um, it's quite amazing that the structures are so well preserved and you, you can see the different spaces uh, within the ship. So HMS Erebus has had clear distinctions between the officers on the back and then the seamen and the Royal Marines uh, at the front in the forecastle. So navigating through the wreck and over hovering over the wreck while diving really you, you can see the different spaces and uh, reconstruct how it was to live on, on that type of vessel in the, uh, the mid 19th century. The degree of preservation um, is, is astonishing. Typically we, we deal with shipwrecks that are collapsed, uh, split open, covered with sediment. This is a 3D structure so well preserved that you can actually see furnitures in place. Except from the natural degradation, basically everything is as it was when the ship sank. The location of the uh, shipwrecks themselves changed the story completely because the story was always ship abandoned uh, northwest of uh, King Williams Island and then the men traveling south and dying one after another of starvation, uh, scurvy. Uh, but now we know that potentially these shipwrecks, these uh, vessels were remanned and brought down south and actually Franklin and uh, after Franklin died, Crozier and the remaining of the crew uh, completed the mapping of the Northwest Passage. This is this is all part of the uh, the questions that we're trying to uh, to answer here.